Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's going to be a short, quick video today. Um, I just got something off the Amazon truck and I figured I would uh, share it with you guys. Um, full disclaimer, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I don't work for any of these people. Um, I just want to pass on the knowledge. Some, you guys might not know that these products are might help somebody out. So, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is <clears throat> the DeWalt grease gun. Um, I had a electric grease gun before. It was, I believe, Allied. Something like that. It was one of the early models and it had the old uh, NICAD batteries in it and the batteries just wouldn't hold a charge anymore. Um, so I've been using a manual grease gun since I got the tractor. Uh, before the tractor, I really didn't need a uh, power grease gun because you know, most of your vehicles today don't have Zerk fittings on them anymore or greasable joints. Uh, but the tractor has tons of them. So um, I went with the DeWalt because I already had the DeWalt battery systems. Um, last year when we bought this place, I had to upgrade my, uh, my cordless tools. They were really out of date. Um, but I didn't need them as we weren't homeowners until last year. Um, so I wasn't doing any any repairs or anything and you know now I, I'm always doing something so I up, up, upgraded my old Porter cable stuff to DeWalt and went with the DeWalt um, 20 volt system um, I like DeWalt, DeWalt's a good brand it seems like they're all really good nowadays uh, you just gotta pick pick a platform and go with it uh, I felt like DeWalt's prices were reasonable uh, compared to like Milwaukee uh, Makita's, Makita was high on the list too uh, I have Makita tools at work. Um, an impact and a drill, and they're great. So it was a toss up between those two. Anyways, I went with the wall. Um, so I just picked this grease gun up off of um, Amazon. I don't remember what it costs. I'll put a link in the description below. The links in my description now are usually affiliate links, which means um, I make a, a small percentage off of each sale. Uh, it, it helps support the channel if you guys are already going to buy the product anyway. Um, just click on that link and, and buy it through that link. I'm not going to get rich off of this, guys. It's just one little extra thing. I've talked about this in videos before. Um, my idea of homesteading, modern homesteading, is <clears throat> multiple streams of income. So don't put all your eggs in one basket and I, I, I live by that I don't have all my eggs in one basket so there's many things I have going on um, I only film a little bit of it so I don't know if we should get into that or not I I mean for you that are just tuning in you haven't watched some of the earlier videos um, my family and I have bought a homestead here ten and a half acres it's mostly wooded and we're building our dream this is our our dream property um, not so much off-grid, uh, just more of a homestead mentality, self-sufficient, self-reliant type of thing. Um, as time goes on and things progress, we'll get more and more or less dependent on the grid. Where was I going with that? Anyways, part of that is multiple streams of income. <clears throat> I'd like to get away from a day job at some point. I don't know if that'll ever happen. It's, it's certainly a goal, but all these little things add up to one step closer to get that. So anyways, affiliate links are below. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to ramble. Affiliate links below if you want to pick one of these up. Um, this thing's pretty straightforward. It's it's a power grease gun. Uh, it does have a light on it, which is pretty nice. So if you needed a light when you're greasing, that, that's a pretty nice feature. Um, but anyways. The next thing that is just absolutely freaking awesome is this lock and lube quick connector. Boy, is that a game changer. Uh, I just recently found out about these. Um, they make this one and a long one. I, I went with the short one. We'll see how that works out. Might end up picking up the long one later on down the road. But I just used it on a couple of these and I'll show you. It's That's a game changer and it's fairly inexpensive. So that's my grease gun setup. But what I really wanted to show you is this little guy. This is a four in one Zerk fitting tool. So you have a, a socket to take your Zerk fittings out. 
the other end is for like the 90 degree or 45 degree angle zerk fittings and then you have a reamer for getting broken zerk fittings out and a uh, a tap to re-tap your your threads for your zerk fittings so zerk fittings break a lot they're they're kind of fragile so this little guy right here is super handy i've known about these for years i've never really had one <laughs> um i just happened to be at rk the other day and i saw them and i picked up two of them um let me show you how this thing works and i'll i'll try to find this on amazon and put an affiliate link down below but if, if not you can just go to rk and pick one up off the shelf so this is going to be impossible to film but there's a broken zerk fitting in here i don't know if you can see that it's broke off flush there so we're just going to take the reamer side of the tool, sorry for the noise, and uh, stick it in there. Mm -hmm. And as, as you reverse the threads out, <clears throat> what happens is that reamer sucks into the, mm -hmm. sucks into the broken zerk fitting. That's not going to focus. See that? There's our zerk fitting. Slick! So, if you needed to, you could go in here and clean out these clean out these threads with your tap. Things with taps is you want to go a little bit and back off. That helps clear the threads out. Don't put a lot of pressure on this either. You'll break that tap. Taps are very hard and brittle, so they're not going to take a lot of abuse. And I think in my pocket here, I've got zerk fitting. I tried to get out here earlier before the gun range opened, and it just didn't happen. I just start my zerk fitting in there and screw it in. Simple as that. In this lock and lube, you just press this lever. Forks come out, clip onto your jerk fitting, and away you go. Just like that. Leave it to me to run out of grease in the middle of the video.
Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. I ho hope this helps. I just wanted to make a quick video and show these few tools and um, let people know what's available out there to help them do this dirty task. <laughs> um, you have to grease these pretty often. I, I noticed uh, some of these when I'm greasing them, some water coming out. So um, it's a good idea to keep up on these. But uh, that's it. That's all I got for you today. We'll uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching.